Okay, so now in this video we will fix this problem with the pillar. As you know, whenever we perform this parkour, and if you click on player, as you can see, the player character controller is not allowing the player to jump on this table, as you can see. And also, when we were working on the player gravity, in that video we have added a code in which whenever the player is in the air, then we make the player fall down to the ground okay so the same thing is happening right here whenever we try to jump on this table as you can see the player just falls down to the surface okay so we actually don't want that whenever we want to perform the parkour we want the player controls to be deactivated and also we want the character controller to be deactivated as well so in order to do that on the player script right here we will create a bool by the name of player control then if we scroll down after this on draw gizmo selected we will create a new method by the name of set control so public void set control and in here we will pass a bool type parameter by the name of has control so in here we will say that if this dot has control is equals to the player control it means that if this has control is true then the player control will also be true and if it is false then it will also be false okay and then according to that true and false we want the character controller of the player so let me just check its name okay we store it by cc so right here we will say character controller dot enabled and it will be equals to the has control okay then we will say that if the has control is not is not false then we want to reset the movement values because if we check the animator of the player right here the movement value is in float okay so when we will be performing the parkour these values will be just changed to a combination of uh, strings and integers so we actually don't want that we want the movement value to be between 0 and 1 so that's why right here when the player has control then we want this value to be reset back to zero so we will say animator dot set float and we want to set the movement value to be zero f then we also want to reset the rotation so the required rotation will be equals to transform dot rotation then let's get back to the parkour controller script and now right here when we will be playing the parkour animation we want the player control to be false and when we are done playing the animation then we want to set it back to true so for that first of all we need a reference to our player script okay so we will say public player script and we will name this as player script as well then down below in the perform parkour action when the player in action equals to true then we want the player script dot set control and in the brackets we will pass false so to this parameter of the set control we will pass false from this parkour controller script and then when the player is done performing the parkour then we want the player script dot set control and this time we will pass true then let's get back to the player script and right here by default we want the player control to be true 
because when we play the game the player will have control okay so that's why we need to pass through right here to the player control and also right here in the update as you can see this is the code for the player gravity so right here we want to say that if the player doesn't have the control then we don't want to execute this gravity code okay so for that right here at the top we will say if the player has no control then we will simply say return okay so this other code which is down below will not be executed and it will be just return from right here but we want the player movement code to be executed so let me just paste that right there at the top and that will be it and right here if we see this 87 line right here we want the player control to tell this has control if it is true or not so instead of this dot has control we will type this dot player control and the player control will be equals to the has control so now just simply save the script get back to unity and right here we need to provide the player script so just drag and drop that right there and now if we get back to the scene view okay this is the player let's play the game and now if we try to jump on this table as you can see our player get stuck on the player on the table okay and if we try that right here on this box as you can see the player can jump on the box but since the box width is smaller so that's why it is not playing that correctly but if you jump on this table you will notice that the player is not getting on top of the table okay as you can see the player just gets stuck inside the table so in order to fix this if we click on the player model then animations and now if we find the animation which is the high jump up this one okay and if you check the animation components right here as you can see for the rotation and the position we use bake into pose so let's remove this bake into pose from both of them and keep this like this okay original feet and for the position it will be center of mass and just simply remove this peg into post component and once you do that let me actually now move this box from there to right here and let's increase the width of this box like this okay that is it now if we play the game again if we move to this box you will notice that now it is playing the animation perfectly and if we get in front of the table and now if we play if we play the parkour as you can see the player is getting on top of the table okay for now there is this issue with the player feet okay the player feet still gets stuck on the table but once we add the target matching then this issue will be fixed as well okay but for now as you can see the player is getting on top of the table and if we do it right here as you can see okay so now our player can do parkour perfectly fine and with this done let's end this video right here